Hey there, and welcome to Coffee on the Couch with Fat Man Skeletor. And today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, publicly perceived train wreck that is the Aladdin movie. And I gotta tell you, I have been really, really looking forward to this. I've of course st seen uh, still shots on the internet, because how could you not? Um, but I refused to watch the full trailer until we were able to sit down and film this. Same here. Because Same here. Because this is just going to be hilarious. I can't see this being anything other than absolutely funny. I'm still trying to go in with an open mind, but once something has been um, that set in stone, let's take a look at Aladdin. And hit play. Is Gilbert Godfrey back? I Argo? hope so. I dig the music. I gotta say, I'm glad they at least went with uh, the actual music. Yeah. This is a story of my people. I need a camel. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, he's not. A, he doesn't look like a villain. He looks like a pretty boy. He looks like a pretty boy douche. Don't they all, though? Uh, that's cool. The little backing track there. Oh, you mean that like, looks, uh... That looks grand. Oh. Prince of Persia? Hello, Jasmine. I would force Mary the crap out of her. Wow. Oh, dear God. That was horrific. <laughs> you waited till the very end. You showed off all this really nice stuff. And then you just gave us a fat load of crap. Oh, wow. God. You literally spit on my cupcake <laughs> and told me it was frosting. Wow. I knew it was going to be bad. But that looks <laughs> really... I'm going to use my, uh, my, uh, my post-editing magic to just take a picture of that and... Plop that right here. That's the stuff nightmares are made of. That is bad. <laughs> like that's holy shit. Who okayed this? <clears throat> Who thought this was a good idea? Like, dear God, that is. Uh... Yeah, pictures don't do that justice. That is. If you stop at the the fifty five <laughs> second mark, look at where the face connects to the neck. They they took Will Smith's face. And put it on someone else's body. <laughs> Whose body is this? Did they? Is this his his body? What the hell happened here? That's that's the, that's the villain from Big Fat Liar. <laughs> he, he's. I'm he's waiting the, for Frankie Muniz to come out of nowhere and out of shape, in shape guy from Family Guy. <laughs> like you could tell he was buff at some point, but he, he just he just went the Arnold Schwarzenegger route. It, it looks like the precursor of the first Smurf. Man, yeah, this is Papa Smurf Roy back in the day. Royalty. When he was Papa Pimp Smurf and he just had a bunch of jewels and shit. Man. <laughs> what's Okay, what's going on with these tattoos? Because that one kind of looks like a rose. And this one's like, what is this, a dancing chick? Is that Neptune? I think they're what just is, meant to that? be like... Are they Egypt tattoos? Scrolls. Je I don't know, Genie never had those in the original. He had the cuffs, but... He never didn't had have the any, necklace or anything like that, either. He never had any, like, body markings. Yeah, that is, uh... That is a little painful wow. to look at. Let's look at it some more. Yeah, there's... There's a lot of bad going on there. 54 seconds. That That is just... There's a lot of bad going on in, uh, in these images. Again, it, it that looks like his face on someone else's body. Poorly done. Like just just plastered right over and the hair. What? Well, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, anymore. it's really it's almost indescribable without making a complete mockery of it, and I think it's hilarious. And I, it, it's I don't know. I feel like they just couldn't Disney locked themselves in a thing where they really couldn't escape bad stuff happening with this because they didn't make them blue and everybody. Then they made him blue, and now everybody's mocking it. Well, again, that that scene everybody was screaming about, he could be pretending to be a person in the bazaar somewhere within the movie. Well, he did take on a lot of... I'm, I'm actually... If that's one thing I'm interested to see how they implement, it's how they're going to implement... I, I'm wondering if they're just going to replace Robin Williams as, like, free ball style completely and just play him as more of a straight-up, like... Yeah, just let Will Smith be Will you know, Smith. Because if you think about it, I mean... 
Robin Williams Genie was a, a a street kid. He was a lady with humongous tits in the brothel. He was a lion. He was yeah. All he was all over the damn place. Uh, so I really don't know how they're gonna replicate that. But this is a very hilarious start. This might be a train wreck. This might be financial success simply because it's, it's Disney. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast made over a billion dollars, the live action, so I I could definitely see why they're still doing live action. I really think what's going to help this is because Dumbo comes out in March. I think if Dumbo's really good, that's going to sell people enough to go back to the theater in two more months and go see this, but I feel like if Dumbo flops, this is going to suffer. Dumbo looks like an abortion of a CGI nightmare. Yeah, it, it really does. I, I don't like that they added people. I, I get yeah. it. They got to pad it to like <clears throat> feature feature length because the first one was, I think, barely over an hour, the original Dumbo. But, uh, yeah, I... Ugh. That sums up live-action Disney in one word, yeah. really. Was, ugh. For Coffee on the Couch. This has been Fat Man Skeletor. And just, on a, on a final note... Uh... You know, this this movie really looked all right up close, but it might just look better from Jafar. <laughs>